What is up guys? So, we have a 2024 Toyota Tundra that is blasted in the front. The guy hit a mail truck. You can only imagine what the mail truck looks like. So, this one does have a neutral override, but the electronic park and brake is stuck on. So therefore, we will be using skates. skates on it and we're gonna move the chains when you got chains dangling that low you want to make sure you move them out of the way before you start moving the bed because you don't want them grabbing or anything like a light or something So we gotta get in this spot, and the only problem I have is the tie rod is broken on that side. All right, so. I should have made a video loading it, but I was in such a rush and I've been non-stop busy today. So it is what it is. Another pain in the butt with this truck is that it doesn't have any like T-hooks, T-hook locations on the bottom on the chassis. Um, doesn't have a lot of hookup points on the uh, chassis itself. So I went right there, um, pretty strong point, but there's nothing else. I mean, you can put, the J-hook somewhere on the back of the rear differential but it's a square differential not round and uh, it's really wide apart which means I'd be putting a side load on the big J-hooks which I don't like to do because that's how you start to bend things so it is what it is alright Hopefully it'll go straight down and then we might have to like shake the bed a little bit. It'll move because I sort of move earlier but the tire is kind of like being a pain in the butt. So I was looking for my other dead blow hammer. And I don't know where the heck it went. So, I do not know where it is. So, I don't know if it's gonna pop up. Move that out of the way. All right. This truck is heavy, and I could only grab it from the back where it was. And I don't like towing trucks like this backwards. Especially this one, because it's a hybrid. So it's got a little extra battery weight. And it kind of sucks too because I had another car in the same shop that this was at, the tow yard. And 
I did in uh I couldn't load it because I already don't I got all the weight on the back end of this truck and this truck I only got about 18 feet on this bed that's usable um and because the parking brake is stuck on I wasn't trying to load this like this to get it out of the guy's yard to turn around drop it and load it from the front and then fight it from the front I wasn't trying to go through all that man loaded it backwards that's the way it's going that's the way it's staying and that's that's just it so it is what it is I didn't take the two cars but it's only about 15 minutes away from where I'm at and uh you know I'll go back I'll load it up and I'll take it to where it's got to go but I'd rather be safe than sorry and not be one of these guys doing wheelies going down the road you know I know it sucks because it's more time consuming but at the end of the day I'd rather know I'm going down the road and I'm able to stop my truck with the load than not being able to stop and hurt somebody it's not worth it so it is what it is All right. And this winch, it's super fast, but it's not strong. Because I was dragging this truck up and the winch kept stopping. So, definitely not a heavy duty winch. So, my other freaking hammer that I can't find was heavier than this one, but it's working. And like I said, this car's got no power, uh, goes in neutral with the override, but no parking brake release. Okay, uh, let's see if I can turn the wheel a little bit. Just to kind of get it straight off. That front wheel is what's gonna be my problem. Yep, it's gonna be my problem. And I can't walk this truck, which is another thing that sucks. So stuck in park. So we might be able to use that to roll the uh, truck forward. If not, use that I put a piece of wood. the tail over bam, 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 bam. 
I tried walking this bed, it won't do it. Doesn't have enough lift on it. That skate came out already. All right. All right, so wheel to the edge of the bed skates will drop out and then you can just take the skates out and drop it That's, get out of here, freaking bug. That's as good as it's gonna get. I'll pull it back a little bit. Just an FYI, that side of the fence is already bent. Skates are definitely a wonderful thing. Make everything so much easier. You don't have to go crazy rocking the bed back and forth and causing your trouble, your truck any stress, unnecessary stress to the bed, to the frame underneath of the bed. Skates, two skates, no soap and water and all that other shit like everybody else. You can use WD-40 and all that stuff if you want to. I'm not gonna say it doesn't work because it does. But I'm just saying that you don't have to do it. Don't leave anything on the bed all slippery. I've done it in the past, so I'm not gonna knock it. But if you got the money for the WD-40, use it. Two skates and that's it. You just gotta get them underneath the, the tires all the way. The further underneath you get it, the better it'll slide.
gonna take my photos give them the keys and move on to the next one I gotta go back and grab that other vehicle that's at that shop so I will see you guys on the next one make sure to hit that subscribe button give it a thumbs up if you like the video click on the notification bell so you get notified every time I upload a video